In this lesson, we are going to be converting from improper fractions into mixed numbers. Usually, you'll do this at the end of a question if you want to simplify and make sure that the, the answer kind of looks nice. It's kind of like magic. To do this, you will need to know um, the long division. You'll need to know how to do long division. And there's a lesson or two about how to do that. And you'll need to know the basics of fractions. So if you haven't watched those ones, then you might want to watch those first. All right. So to convert from an improper or to convert an improper fraction into a mixed number, you will use long division. And at the end, the whole number is the whole number. And the remainder is the part left over, which will be the numerator. I'll show you what that means. So the number 12 over 5. What we're going to do is use long division to solve for that. How many times does 5 go into 12? 2 times, 2 times 5 is 10. We subtract, and we have 2 left over. So we would normally say that when we're dividing 12 divided by 5, we would say we have 2 remainder 2. Well, what that remainder means in terms of fractions is this. It means that we have 2 as a whole number with a remainder of 2 over 5. So in other words, the fraction of 12 over 5 is equal to 2 and 2 fifths. That's really all there is to it. The whole number here is our whole number. The remainder is our, the numerator. And the denominator remains the same. Let's do some more. So 9 over 2. 9 divided by 2. We'll say how many times does 2 go into 9? Well, it goes in 4 times. 4 times 2 is 8. We're going to subtract 9 minus 8 is 1. So 4 with a remainder of 1. So that means that 9 over 2 can also be written as 4 with the remainder of 1 over 2. All right, our denominator remains the same. Our remainder goes here, and the whole number goes here. All right. Let's do another one. 28 over 3. We can do this with any number of fractions we want. 28 divided by 3. How many times does 3 go into 28? Um, it'll go 9 times. So we're going to put a 9 up there. 9 times 3 is 27. So we're going to subtract 28 minus 27 is 1. So our answer is 9 with the remainder of 1. Or in other words, 9 and 1 third. Okay. Again, our denominator comes from the denominator in this fraction. That stays the same. Our remainder goes in the numerator. And the whole number is our whole number answer. It's pretty straightforward when we do this. It takes a little bit of practice. If you're rusty with the long division, you'll want to check that out again. Um, go back and watch a lesson on long division or take a little bit of a, a refresher course or something. But See, uh, 10 divided by 4, 10 go, or 4 goes into 10, 2 times, 2 times 4 is 8. I'm going to subtract, 10 minus 8 is 2, so I have 2, remainder 2. So my answer will be 2, with a remainder of 2 over 4. Now this one here is a neat one, because we end up with a fraction, 2 over 4, that can be reduced down to the simplest form. 2 and 4 have the common factor of 2. So we'll divide both of those by 2. And our final answer is 2 and 1 half. Notice that the mixed number, the whole number here, did not get divided by 2. 2, the whole number of 2 stayed the same. The fraction was re just reduced down to lowest terms. So that, was, that is what you would do if you ended up with um, a fraction at the end that was not in lowest terms. Also, to skip that step, um, you could have noticed that both 4 and 10 have a factor of 2. And you could have reduced this fraction into being in lowest terms up here. And then your division would, end, would have ended up with you getting the answer of 2 and 1 half instead of 2 and 2 fourths. But either way, you'll end up with 2 and 1 half for your final answer. Remember to simplify all fractions down to lowest terms, and you'll be in good shape. So you're extremely smart. 
We've done a lot of lessons so far. We've done a lot with fractions lately. Remember, there's no such thing as a stupid question, so keep asking questions um, unless they're really, really stupid. All right, have a great day.